Welcome to a tutorial video on ChoiceScript. In this video, I'm going to talk about customizing the stat screen. So we've spent a lot of time in this series on ChoiceScript talking about the various ways of using commands, text formatting, using variables, using labels, subroutines, and everything. Something that has been neglected across all of these videos is the stat screen itself. We can use the stat screen as we're playing a game created in ChoiceScript to see what our stats are. We can also customize how they're presented. So we see over here on the left hand side the word statistics in bold, a percentage, some text, and then two things called opposing pairs. So let's look at this file. Over here on the left hand side, the very first file, choice script underscore stats. And we see here we can use text formatting within this file. And we're using it for the word statistics. We're also seeing the use of a command stat underscore chart and that's what we're looking at over here on the right hand side. All of this highlighted is part of the chart. And there are two different ways to represent values. We can use percent, as we see here, percent, and then the name of a variable, so 50%, and then text, and then the name of a variable to get its text, or string or numerical value, instead of represented as percentage. We can also see a way of creating opposed pairs using opposed underscore pair and then the two values. In this case food and wood as opposed and we can also change and split an existing value variable as its own opposed pair with its own labels. So we could split trust as a variable into liked and hated in this case as an opposed pair. All variables though when used on the stat screen must exist and that of course makes sense. In order to show the value of some variable it has to exist as a variable. So over in startup I've created the variables I'm showing you lines 10 through 12. So we're creating them in startup and then in choice script underscore stats we're showing them as part of the command stat underscore chart. We can also customize this as I've showed here by using text formatting to add additional words or additional formatting. We can also, as a summary of this, present the value variable as a percentage, 0 to 100. We can also show its text value, that is its numerical or string value without being a percentage. We can also use opposed pairs to present two variables as opposed to each other and present it as a percentage of how much one is compared to the other. We can also split an existing variable into its own value of an opposed pair. As we did here on line 11, where trust is splitted with custom labels liked and hated, which allows us to think about trust as not just a single value, 50%, but as 50% liked and 50% hated. Something which, as covered in a previous video, we could use with the fair math system and then check this stat throughout the game to see how much somebody liked a person or how much they hated them and use values like love or other relationship values to look at these stats and present them as an opposed pair. So as a quick review we use the command stat underscore chart to create a stat chart on the stat screen. We can also customize it by using text formatting by adding text above or sometimes even below it, and customize how we're presenting these stats. But they're either presented as a percentage, a text that is a string or numerical value, and they can also be presented as opposed pairs. We can pair variables together or split a variable and add our own labels to create our own opposed pair in the same way. Thanks for watching.